Hey guys, today's video is a hot or not on the Finnis Edge Fins. I got these while I was at Masters Nationals with my dad in Indianapolis. You guys can watch my vlog up there. And I did show these in the video and then I was really excited to try them out. And I tried them there on the trip and then I've also been wearing them at practice so I couldn't do a first impression on them. I was just too excited to try them. These are $55 on Swim Outlet. And I got a size medium which is a US men's 7 to 9. I wear a size 8 to 9 in the Arena Power Fins so this is the men's 7 to 9. And it's a little bit tighter which is weird. It's like it runs small even though it's the same size. I don't know. I wore these for about 15 to 20 minutes when I was on the trip and I really did like them. I did notice though that they are a lot floppier than my Arena Power Fins. They are wider so you would think that these would be faster but they're so much floppier than the Arena ones then they end up being actually slower. Since these are so stiff you end up kicking a lot more water without them kind of flopping and losing the water. So I really liked these the first day that I tried them and then when I got back here I went to one of my own swim practices and I ended up using them for like 45 minutes and I got blisters. I got two on the sides of my big toes and then I got one on like the side of my ankle from the strap. I was really disappointed because my arena power fins have never given me blisters. I've worn them for hours like when my shoulder was injured. I literally wore them for two hour practices multiple days in a row and I have never gotten blisters from them and I wore these for 45 minutes and got three different blisters. But if you're someone who maybe barely uses fins and you just need a pair and if you don't want training fins these are also really good for that. Now the arena power fins are $50 on Swim Outlet, so they are $5 cheaper, they're faster, they're more training resistance fins, so they are harder to kick with, and they've never given me blisters, so personally I would pick the Arena ones more. I absolutely love these fins. I've never worn a pair of fins that do not give me blisters, so these are amazing. My dad is the one who recommended these fins for me to try after my Arena Power Fins snapped on the back strap because my cat chewed them. She literally chewed this, and then when I put them on and off it eventually ripped. Ugh. So my dad recommended these for me to try because these are what he uses when he's filming me underwater and he also uses these for his private lessons to keep up with kids. Sometimes in my drill videos you guys see a yellow fin in the corner of the camera and those are these fins. But we only film for like half an hour and sometimes a little bit more but really not that long. And when he does his private lessons too he's not kicking that much. So he does really like these fins and they're not training fins either so they're great for him to just keep up with people. But when he recommended them I use them a lot longer than that and for training purposes. This is a really quick review, but they are just fins. They're pretty simple. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and leave me a comment down below on if you have tried these fins and what you thought of them. If they gave you blisters, maybe they just fit my feet wrong. And subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye! There are little kids screaming outside, if you hear that. You end up kicking... Really? But a lot of people aren't going to be wearing these for... <laughs> My dad's home. Now he's going to come in and he's going to slam the door and then he's going to yell hi. Hi. She hears noises downstairs and wants to go so bad. I'm going to hold you hostage. Can you hear me chewing back here? No, the microphone's over here. So I can chew without you hearing me? False. See like a yellow... A, a yiddle? What?